Hello, my name is Dr. Alex Poon. I'm a plastic surgeon from Sydney's Park Clinic Plastic Surgery. And today in our ongoing series on tummy tucks, I'm going to be talking to you about what kind of pain you can expect after having tummy tuck surgery. So the first thing to say is that with every surgery, there's the potential for pain. And every person is different in their perception of pain. But what I can say with a great deal of um, certainty is that the vast majority of patients that have this procedure are exceptionally comfortable. And the reason for that is all of the things that we do to make sure that you are comfortable. So one of the things that is specific to our practice is that we use what's called a pain buster. A pain buster is a special local anaesthetic drip that drops local anaesthetic directly over the area that you tend to be the most painful. So for a tummy tuck, one of the areas that is the most painful typically is where we've had to tighten up your core muscles. So you'll have a really tight stitch that runs from all the way up near your rib cage all the way down to the bottom of your tummy muscles and that's really tightening your core muscles, repairing them back to the middle where they should be. Um, when that happens, it can be a little bit uncomfortable. So by placing this pain buster in the right spot, it gives you just the right amount of analgesia and stops you from having some of the more heavy duty painkillers such as morphine or endone that can tend to give you other symptoms such as uh, nausea and vomiting as well as uh, weird dreams and dysphoria. So. Um, as well as even things like constipation. So if we can avoid all of those things with local anesthetic, that tends to be fantastic. The pain buster tends to work for around about two to three days and is exceptionally good at helping you get up and mobilize with the least amount of pain possible. Other things that we can do to make sure you're comfortable is to give you what's called a PCA or a patient controlled analgesia device. Essentially what that is, is just a little button that clicks and every time you click you get a small amount of painkiller given to you through the drip. But to be honest with the pain buster you really need very little in the way of painkillers, anything more than Panadine or, or Panadol on top, of the, uh, on top of the pain buster. So what you will feel for a couple of days, for the first day you, for the first day you tend to be uh, fairly tight, typically in a little bit of a bent over position because we've closed up your tummy we want to make sure there's no tension on it and over the course of the next three to four days you can start to straighten out um, and straighten out your posture so you're sitting up nice and straight and sleeping in a straight bed again. For most people a hospital stay for a tummy tuck can be anywhere from two to five days so um, the first two to three days can be a little bit uncomfortable but after that point in time you're walking around uh, quite freely. Anyway, I hope this has been very helpful and if you've got any other questions to ask us, don't hesitate to contact us. Okay, bye.